Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would walk you through the IRS page which was recently added to the Magnite Dash 8 and Dash 9 a few months ago. It's the next batch of custom FMS pages or CDU pages you can see here. So I've basically I've powered up the aircraft here as you would do when you get into the cockpit so all is looking good there and all we need to do now we've got the IRS's to align here we go that to on here on the overhead make sure you do that first and then there's another step which I think some of you are struggling to know what to do here as you don't know basically what's happening because it's maybe new, new to you but it's essentially the same process as as the Zebo or as the 757 basically as any other Boeing aircraft but for those who don't fly Boeing aircraft like the Zebo then I can see where you're coming from where you don't know what to do and it's slightly different here we are anyway as you can see there there's one minute to align so it usually takes between 7 and I think 18 minutes or around then depending on the latitude where you are in the globe. So basically what you're going to come down here once you power up the aircraft and see do you like this. You'll, it'll be like this on the ident pages so you can see that we've got GE engines. Anyway let's get on with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to index then you're going to go to position. You can see here that we've got it should be aligning. Basically just put in the airport. I don't think this is correct. So you, we're currently sitting here in Vienna, beautiful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here and we're basically going to put in the ICO code into the reference airport. So we are sitting here in Vienna, which is L-O-W-W -W, and put that in the reference airport. And then you just simply grab it from here or I suppose you can use the GPS position that you can see, you can see the error box there but all you're going to do is going to put it in the inertial position, just paste it in there, and it should be aligning. So there you go, you can clear this. So that's all you need to do, just put it in the airport, copy this, don't bother typing it out, I don't think you can type it out anyway, as you can't do in the real plane, and there you go, that's all you need to do, and then the whole thing will align for those of you who are having issues. If wondering about the next three pages, we'll just go through it, so you can see time here at the moment this is the real world time according to your computer not the sim time um, well in this case it is because we are on real world time then you can see the last position there that's not really accurate unlike the Zebo. and then the reference airport GPS position is the same and then the inertia position there and this I think yeah that works so you can copy this I think it's like the Zebo. Um, but you can see all the information there. You don't need to worry about any of these pages, basically. And this is not operational. It's just it, it's just for data. You can't do all of any of this stuff. Um, and there you go. This is all correct data. So that's you don't need to worry about the next three pages. It's just the first page. You just need to worry about there. I hope that is useful. Um, and if you did enjoy the video, if you did find this useful, please do smash that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe as there'll be more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Please do also give any recommendations or requests for any future content you'd like to see here on the channel, whether it be tutorials or other videos in any form or live streams. Thanks for watching.